السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. Honesty, its manifestation at impact of achieving societal security. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Allah commands you people to return things entrusted to you to their rightful owners. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. The Islamic Sharia calls for good ethics and noble values, including the value of honesty. The Almighty Allah ordered his servants to adhere to this value and describe the faithful people as having this trait. Allah the Exalted said, Allah commands you people to return things entrusted to you to the rightful owners. Allah also said about believers who are faithful to their trust and pledge. The Prophet peace be upon him said, there are four qualities if you possess, if you possess them you would not be bothered about what you miss in this world. Fulfilling trusts, trust speech, good manners, and modesty with food. Means don't be wasteful or ex extravagant. Honesty has many forms and great meanings, all of which involve a person's sense of responsibility in everything entrusted to him. It includes honesty with money. Very important. Honesty has many forms and great meanings, all of which involve a person's sense of responsibility in everything. It includes honesty with money, honesty of speech, honesty of keeping secrets, Honesty in giving advices, honesty in buying and selling, and honesty in work. The Almighty Allah said, All believers, be mindful of Allah and say what is right. The Prophet said, A man may speak a good word without knowing its worth. Allah record for him his bludger till the day he will meet him. And a man may utter an evil word without realizing its evilness. Allah record for him his displeasure till the day he will meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In another hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, When a man steals something and then departs its trust. Also the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, One who is, in, who is consulted is entrusted. One who is consulted is entrusted. The Prophet ﷺ has said, the truthful and honest merchant is associated with the prophets, with the prophets, the upright and martyrs. One of the most important form of honesty is the honesty in calling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is a, one of the most important characteristics of the prophets and messenger. One of the most important forms of honesty is the honesty in calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is the, one of the most important characteristics of the prophets and messengers. Allah the Exalted told us that the prophet Noah, Hud, Salih, Lot and Shu'aib, peace be upon them all. All of them told their peoples. All of them told their people, I'm faithful messenger to you. We witness the Prophet وسلم, peace be upon them all. We witness the Prophet وسلم, peace be upon them all. We're faithful to their trust. And that our Prophet, peace be upon him, delivered his message, performed his duty, advised his nation, and Allah has relieved us of trouble through him. Honesty in Dawah. 
Honesty in da'wah requires being truthful and avoiding, avoiding searching for the strange and odd views in order to draw attention or get follow up in social media. Our Prophet وسلم, was entitled among his people from his early childhood as the truthful and the honest. He, peace be upon him, gave us the most wonderful example of honesty upon his immigration to Medina. When he, peace be upon him, asked Ali ibn Abi Talib to stay in Mecca, to return deposits to their owners, who were the disbelievers chasing him to kill him. He, peace be upon him, did not consume these deposits for himself or for his companions. Our religion has ordered us to adhere to honesty. It has strongly warned against treason, showing that is one of the traits of hypocrites. The Almighty Allah said, Believers, Believers do not betray Allah and the Messenger, or knowingly betray other peoples. Trust in you. The Prophet ﷺ has said, the sign of a hypocrite are three. The sign of hypocrites are three. When he speaks, he tells a lie. When he promises, he break, he break, he break his promise. When he is entrusted, he betrays. The sign of hypocrite are three. When he speaks, he tells a lie. When he promises, he break his promise. When he entrusted, he betrays. In another hadith, the Prophet ﷺ has said, He who is not trustworthy has no faith. And he does not keep his covenant. He does not keep his covenant has no religion. All praise is due to Allah. The Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. There is no doubt that faith, security and honesty are related to one another. There is no security without faith. And no faith without honesty. If honesty disappeared, there will be a great unrest hostility and strive in the society and there will be no trust among friends husbands and wives and neighbors honesty brings about brings peace tranquility and community security for people honesty is a part of our faith and our religion we practice it with friends even with enemies and we don't respond to betrayal with a betrayal. The Almighty Allah said, If you learn of treachery of, on the part of any people, throw their treaty back at them, for Allah does not love the treacherous. This means let them know that covenant between you and them is resolved. A prophet, peace be upon him, said, Bay the deposit, bay the deposit to him who deposited it with you and do not betray him who betrayed you it is not permissible for a person to betray trusts under any form or any circumstance or any situation maimon ibn mahran said three things should be fulfilled for both good and bad people honesty covenants and keeping good ties to relatives. Finally, we affirm that the most severe form of betrayal is a person betrayal of his homeland, conspiracy against it and allying it with its enemies. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to do good deeds and to protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.